Hi, I'm Bernard K. Means uh, from the Virtual Curation Laboratory at Virginia Commonwealth University. I'm here at the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. And what I'm working on today is creating three-dimensional or 3D digital models of artifacts uh, that have been recovered here at Jamestown. Uh, we are using a Next Engine Desktop 3D scanner, uh, which uses lasers to record an object, uh, much like the way echolocation would work for a bat or a dolphin. Uh, the lasers uh, leave the Next Engine, hit the object, and bounce back. It records the uh, topographic or surface information of the object. It also records the color of the object. And that allows us to create a three-dimensional digital model. Once we've created a three-dimensional digital model, we can use that uh, for research. We can use that to share with scholars anywhere on the planet simply by sending them a digital file. We can also use our 3D printer to create printed replicas. And what I have here is a uh, dog mandible that was butchered during the starving times here at Jamestown, which we scanned on a previous visit. And we scanned and we printed the object. And then uh, one of my students working in the uh, Virtual Curation Laboratory at Richmond actually painted the object to look like the actual item. And this is something that we use for public archaeology. What we are doing currently is scanning another butchered animal bone from the starving time. It's a butchered horse tibia. And, and again, the Next Engine desktop scanner is recording the topographic, uh, topological information. Uh, as the lasers move across the object, they scan the entire surface of the object in 360 degrees. Um, takes roughly about an hour to scan an object uh, at the particular resolution that we've chosen. And then usually takes two to three hours to edit the digital model, get rid of all the sort of the noise that the scanner then picks up.